So I'm about to pull off the uh, mother mold. Now I've had I've got a nice grip back here in between uh, the front and the back. So I'm going to be using that. No, I've cheated a bit. I've wiggled it a little bit uh, out just to speed up this video. But the thing is, is once you've uh, once you've actually done that part, the rest is pretty easy. So, you know, just want to slowly. There we go. Once that's uh, ready to pop off, that's one piece there. I'll put it on the side here. Now the front should be just as easy, if not easier, to pop off. Always handy to have a flathead screwdriver, just to give it a little help. Get a little air underneath there. Oh, it's good when the bit doesn't stay stuck in the uh, piece. Oh, here she comes. Part two. And well, while we're here, and before my sculpture falls right off, because it's going through a lot of stress, I'm just going to take myself an X-Acto knife. Here we are. Take off the, all the little bits and pieces. It's just a bit to cut back here to separate the front and the back half. And there we are. It's peeling off nicely. One piece, no seams. And all the little details got to come out. Get a little bit of clay to clean out of this thing afterwards. But ultimately, the model didn't su suffer a whole lot of damage. Doesn't matter because those shoulders are going to be coming off right, uh, right quick to prevent anything else from getting uh, totaled. But uh, yeah, flip it back in. And there you have it. All you got to do is uh, put it back in the uh, in the mother mold, pour it. And I've got myself. Notice this about where they're going to sit. One of the, I'd say, easiest uh, molds I've had to do.